Hello, welcome back to my channel, Lumsy Souls. In today's sewing tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how I made this off-shoulder wrap crop top. If that's what you're looking for, then continue watching till the end to see how I made it. The sleeve is the sleeve leg of mutton. I have three designs of off-shoulder wrap top that I'm making. So I have made the first one. This number one is up on my channel. It's just the sleeve that we are going to make. So today we are making leg of mountain, which is this number two. And if you want me to make the sleeve to number three, which is also an off-shoulder sleeve, let me know in the comment section. So I shared a post on my community section and also on Facebook. You guys chose number one. I'm doing number one and also I'm doing number two because we just turned 20,000 subscribers. So they are all off-shoulder crop top. Just the sleeve is the difference with the three of them. So we are making number two today. Let's start. I'll be using two yards of African fabric, one and a half for the sleeve and half yard for the main bodies. If you're on the plus size, you can use two and a half yards. To make this, I'll be using this wrap crop top sewing pattern I made the last time. This is a continuation of the wrap crop top, off shoulder wrap crop top I've been making lately. We have three of them that we have to make. so. This is the second one. So I'll be using the same pattern for almost the three of them. So this is what I have here. If you have not watched this video, I'll drop the link below. In that tutorial, I drafted the bodice pattern and then I went ahead to draft the off shoulder crop top. So it's detailed and it's beginner friendly. If you have not watched it, make sure you watch it to continue with this. Most of the people that requested for this video requested for it because of the sleeve. So I'm going to be making the sleeve detailed. It's going to be the same thing, just the sewing pattern for the crop top, the body of the crop top. It's just the sewing pattern that is different. Every other thing is the same. So I have cut out the fabric as you can see. I will go ahead, like I told you, we are going to be sewing this differently. So I will go ahead and make elastic casing here at the back. And then for the front, I'm going to just fold hem the front, the center front, the wrap of the center front. So you fold it once and fold again. There's no elastic in this one. It's only at the back that we are adding elastic. So let me do that and show you. This is it after hemming the front. Can you see? And I have made space for the casing, elastic casing for the back. So I go ahead and put pass elastic into this place. So what I have here, the elastic I have here measures, let me take the measurement. It measures eight inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use my safety pin and pass the elastic into the elastic casing. So just go ahead and do the same thing. Just make sure as you're dragging it, you don't drag it too much. So I'll go ahead and use pin and hold it down here. Go ahead and do the same thing. When you bring out on this side, you also hold it down. And you're going to go ahead and sew it on your machine. So I'm going to hold this down like this. By the time I open it up, you see it's okay. So next thing we are going to do, you are going to go ahead and stitch it on both sides to, to hold it down. So I'm going to go ahead and make the sleeve, which is the main thing why we are here. So I'm going to be going to my, I'm using my one sleeve block. If you have not, if you don't know how to make a sleeve block, I will drop how I make sleeve block, one sleeve block on my description section you go ahead and learn how to do that so i'm going to go ahead and you know do this so what we are going to do first of all is to shape the side of the sleeve now this is the elbow line and this is for the wrist so what you have to do for the lower part you have to take the measurement of your wrist around your wrist so for mine for the client is eight inches i'm going to divide the eight inches here so divided by two will give me four inches so i'll mark four inches here and eight inches here and then on the 
elbow, you are going to take the elbow while the uh, client's sleeve is like this. So just take it like this. That way, you make sure it's comfortable on the client. So you take the measurement. In my own case, it's 11. So you're going to divide 11 into 2, which will give you 5.5. So on each side, I will make 5.5. So I'm going to mark 5 points here, 5 here, and 5.5 here. So I'm going to connect this to this side and bring it up to the armhole. I've marked the shape for the size seam. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So do the same thing. So this sleeve is a leg of mountain sleeve. So I'm going to prepare it for the leg of mountain sleeve. I'm going to come down here, three inches here. And I'm going to start making space of two inches gap. So first I make the first one two inches just go ahead and make four places of um, gaps of two inches and then on the side you also make the same two inches from the elbow as you can see what I'm doing just two inches gap I'll do the same thing on the other side there are several designs of making leg of bone sleeve so this is just one of them or one of the basic ones I'll go ahead and connect all the lines. So just watch as I'm going to connect these lines. Whenever you're making leg of mountain sleeve, make sure whatever you have on one side, you repeat it on the other side. So after cutting this, I'm going to open this out and spread it out. We're going to be making using spread and slash and spread method. So I have I've made a line here to represent the center line. I'm going to place this on the line to align with the center line and I'm going to tape this side down so that it will be easier for me to start spreading it. So I'll just hold the two sides of the sleeve on the side that I'm not slashing and spreading. So first I'm going to start by cutting up one side. That way it's very very easy for me to do this slash and spread. After slashing this side, I'm going to go ahead and spread it as much as I can. You decide, this is where you just decide how big you want the leg of mountain sleeve to be. I just really want mine to be exaggerated, so I'm just opening it out. So I'm going to tape it down. You decide, if you can reduce this if you, if you want to, if it's too much, re you reduce it. I want my sleeve to be one and a half inches, so... That's why I'm just spreading it out to make use of my one and a half inches. So I'm going to, this same gap I have here, I'm going to replace, make the same thing on the other side. So measure each side and open up and, you know, you make the same thing. Remember what I told you earlier on, whatever you do on this side, do it on the other side. So I'm going to open up this place, the same width of the gap I have as the same one on the other side. I hope you understand what I mean. So I'll just go ahead and open it out using the same gap I opened out on the other side. At this point, after spreading it, it's becoming too big that my camera can carry. So let me just hold this camera, this phone like this so that you see what I mean. See the spreading out. So I have gone ahead to make a line to connect the sleeve head of the both side can you see so we're going to increase this sleeve head we're going to increase it to add to the um to the neck so from here i have marked nine inches i increased the sleeve head by nine inches so from that line just measure nine inches up and draw the new um sleeve head so I'll go ahead and cut this out. Remember, this is leg of mutton. That's the principle. You must increase the sleeve head. You have seen how exaggerated mine is. So you can decide if you don't want yours to be as exaggerated as that, you can reduce it. You, you, you will not make it to be 9 inches. Mine is 9 inches. So you can decide to make yours six inches but remember as you're cutting the sleeve head if you spread it too much it means you're going to add a lot on the sleeve head if you spread a little then you are, what you're going to add to the sleeve head will not be much so i'll go ahead and cut this out on my fabric 
If you don't understand anything, let me know in the comment section. So I'll go ahead and cut out this on my fabric. This is it after cutting it out on my fabric. I'm going to go ahead and join the side seam of this the the sleeve. So I'll just join only the side seam. Close it up. I'll do that and come back and show you guys the next step. So this is it after closing the side seam. As you see, and I have gone ahead to hem the lower part. So we are going to join the sleeve to the top. So this is the side of the top. The, you just open up the side seam of the top where you are to join the sleeve. See how I've joined one. See how it's looking. So I'll just open this up to show you how to fix the other one. So once it is like this, you're going to align the side seam of the sleeve to the body's pattern. So I'll just align this to this place. And I'm going to sew it stopping where the neckline stopped, both in front and at the back. Can you see? By the time you're done sewing it to this place, you're going to hem this. I've overlocked this. So you're going to close this all around because we are going to pass elastic case elastic so you're making elastic casing on that can you see i'm done joining it see the side seam this is the lower side of the sleeve and this is the side seam so i will go and pass elastic from that place that the neck started i'm going to go ahead and join elastic i have eight inches elastic here with me so with my safety pin again, I'm going to pass this from that place where this um, the neckline stopped. I'm going to pass it. I'm sure when you're going to get a, a hang of it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll understand what. So make sure your elastic doesn't pass or else you're going to start over over again. So you hold it with a pin. You just hold it down with a pin when you're done you're going to sew it. So I'll go ahead and pass the elastic into this elastic casing. Once I'm done passing this, I'm also going to um, secure it at that other end. Can you see where that place is? I'm, I've gotten to the other side of the neck. So I'll remove my safety pin and pin down that place. Make sure you pin it down or else your elastic will go inside. So I'm just adjusting it and I'm going to pin it down. I'll just go to my machine and hold the two places that I have pinned down. Let me spread out the sleeve so that you can see. Can you see? You see how nice it's, it is. You can reduce the elastic or you can, you know, try it out with your clients and see. So guys, this is how this is looking. Next, I'm going to add the rope to this. The rope I have here is 2.5 inches on fold. It's 6 inches after sewing it, it became 2.5 on fold. Then I have folded in the edge like this so that it's easy for me to insert the wrap top. So I'm going to insert that wrap area into the rope like this. Very simple and very neat. I'm going to go ahead and sew it and that is it. Guys, we have come to the end of today's video. Bye. I'll see you in my next video.